Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own object based on an external file. For example, I have this window, uh, this basement window, and I couldn't find any window well on the Archica library. So I went to the SketchUp warehouse and downloaded a window well from there and then imported uh, uh, their sketch file into Archicad. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. First of all, I want to make sure I'm the first floor um, to import the file. Here's the folder that I have my sketch file into. So I just will drag it into the Archicad like this. Once it is loaded, I'm going to place it and it's there. Because at this point it is not recognizable for Archicad, I'm not able to select it on the first floor view. But if I go to the 3D view, it will be there. So I will select it and then I will now go right click convert selection to morphs click on OK that's it I'm going to make sure I unselected by pressing ESC this model is made out of two parts the outer shell and the ladders so I want to make sure I select everything on the model. So I'm going to click uh, in my case on the ladder and also on the outer shell. Once the two of them are selected, click on File, Libraries and Objects, Save Selection as Object. Click on OK. Uh, I'm going to place a name window well or two save okay and there it is so now I'm going to modify some settings like the 2D view and others so with the object selected, I will go to File, Libraries and Objects, Open Object, select the object, OK, or Open, and I will have this window. The most important to modify is the 2D symbol, which is the way it is going to look in your floor plans. I click on that symbol right there. And because this model is very simple and it kind of looks like what it should look like on the floor plan, I'm just going to leave it like that. But uh, you have to know that whatever change you made in here is not going to affect the 3D view. It's just that for the 2D view. So, for example, if you delete any line, it's not going to affect at all your model to the 2D view of your model. So, mine is uh, kind of looking good. I'm just going to leave it like that. But something that you want to make sure you have in every single object, it's a fill region or fill zone. Make sure you have the background selected and kind of invisible line I don't have an invisible line in here so I'm just going to go by the dotted line and make a square that covers all the object this zone is what is going to allow me to select and drag and change position of the object in the 2D view so you have to have it once you're done, click on save 
and it will save the changes that you have made in your object right now. So you can close this window, this one too. Um, there are some other things you might be able to change, like what type of element it is, electrical, plumbing, furniture, any other. I'm going to leave like module element, which is the default one, because I don't need to be very specific at this point. And it's done. Uh, it says some error secure, but that's my computer. Maybe in your computer it will, will not show up, something like that. Uh, so, okay. Next step is going to be go to the first floor in place a new one. I place a new one because I want to make sure it actually worked. So, if I click on the chair uh, of the objects tool, I will be able to display the default by Archica. But if I double click on the chair, I will be able to see the new ones. So I click or select the one that I want, which is the window well, and then OK. And now I'm going to be able to place it. And I'm going to compare the 2D view with the 3D view so they kind of match. So for example, this one, the flat plot part, it's pointing to my house. So in the 3D view, it should be the same. Yep, the flat, uh, the flat part is showing or pointing to my house, which is this one right here. And that's how it works. I have just created a new object based on an external file. You can do the same with tables, chairs, lamps, uh, lightning fixtures, plumbing fixture, any others. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it, and see you later.